channel for all my returning subscribers thank you for tuning in i've been going for about seven days you guys and that is long for me okay but i'm back with another video for everybody who's new here please hit that subscribe button down below we are very consistent on here okay weekly consistent content on this channel so make sure you hit that subscribe button so as you can tell from the title i will be doing my wash the routine on after a protective style as you can see here i have these patch and twists in i'm just going to take these out and then give my hair a nice deep clean it is looking raggedy i had these in for about three weeks now and my hair has not been washed in three weeks so i'm going to give it a nice deep clean nice deep conditioning all that good stuff so if you guys want to see my wash day routine after protective style let's get into this video this was a lot longer so already i cut it at a length where i don't cut my own hair use your judgment and put it to a length where you're not cutting your hair off these are a lot easier to take out than box braids because they are just twists. You just twist it and then just take it from there. Very easy. And what I do when I go through it, like each one, I'll make sure that I detangle it as I go. My hair is transitioning, so it is not fully natural. So it's not so hard to get it detangled see it has like these little because i have a low porosity here i get a lot of build up so i try not to keep protective styles in for too long because i get a lot of build up so what i do each time i go through each braid i'll just detangle it so then later on i don't have and you see like hairs coming out this is just normal shedding never be afraid of your hair coming out it's just shedding i haven't combed my hair in three weeks so we are going to have some shedding but you want to make sure you're not having too much. So I'm just going to go through each one. And just as I go, I'll just detangle each one. So when I get to the end, oh, my life will be a lot easier when I finish everything. So I think I'm going to speed up this part because you guys will need to see all of this. pretty much going to be doing this the whole way through so when i finish taking all this out then i'll come back and then i'll get in the shower and show you guys the rest of my routine okay guys so this is what my hair is looking like now that it, all the twists are out so now i'm going to go ahead and start the clarifying part i did detangle as i went so my hair is somewhat detangled now i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to use as a clarifier so i'm going to start with this indian healing clay mask and this is something that i've mentioned multiple times and this is very good for this is what i use when my hair has been in the protective style for a while and this gives a good clarification this is what i use so with this you gotta mix this with water or apple cider vinegar i usually do apple cider vinegar i think it just clarifies better so i'm gonna mix this with apple cider vinegar in this little bowl here and I have a thing to mix it. The directions specifically say not to use anything metal with this. I am going to be using apple cider vinegar to mix this and apply it to my hair. And that will give it a good clarification. So here I'm adding the clay to the bowl where I'll be mixing it with the apple cider vinegar to get it to the consistency that I want. Everyone likes a different consistency. So depending on your consistency, you might have to add more or less of the vinegar or if you want it thicker you add more of the clay so it depends on how you like your clay mask me personally i like i don't like it very thick but not too thin either i just like it somewhere in the middle so i'll just be mixing this until i find that good balance <laughs> drench my hair in water i just drench it in the sink because you want to apply this mask when your hair is wet you do not want to apply this to dry hair so i just drench my hair with water and i'm gonna go ahead and just section into four <laughs> here 
this is how the hair looks after I applied all the clay masks and it is you know defining my curls back here I'm loving this so this is how my curls are looking in the back the back is mostly natural but you know the front we got some work to do I'm in need of a trim as well so I will be getting a trim sometime soon that this clay mask pretty much shows your hair defines your curls so it's showing me right now that I need a, a, a good trim and yeah, up here is straight. This is straight on the top, but the back here is coming along nicely, but we still have a lot of heat damage, as you can see. So this is how it's looking with the mask on, and I will let this sit for 30 minutes, and then I'll jump, hop in the shower, rinse it out. So here I'm just rinsing all the clay mask out of my hair. This is very easy to rinse out. Once you get the hair wet and the water start coming down, it just easily rinses out it's very easy if you guys have not tried this clay mask i'm telling you this is a game changer for your hair okay try this clay mask it is so good it leaves your hair so clean so moisturized so hydrated And I use this clay mask as a shampoo. I do not use any follow-up with an additional shampoo because this leaves my hair very clean. So I do not see the need for another shampoo. But if you would like, you can follow up with shampoo. But I'm just going to go ahead and add my deep conditioner after I am done rinsing the clay mask out. So just looking at my hair, I'm seeing that it's every, all the clay is out. It's very soft, very moisturized. So I will be using my TGIN deep conditioner on my hair. And Honey Miracle hair mask is really, really good. And usually I would put my hair in four sections when I add my deep conditioner, but my hair felt so manageable and so tangle free and just easy to deal with that I didn't feel the need to even section it. I just worked through the whole head. I, I did not section it off. Then I'll be going in with my detangler brush and it wasn't hard to detangle at all. The brush was really just going right through it. It was not hard to detangle. So I just detangled it with the deep conditioner in it.
I sat under my little dryer concoction thing uh, for 30 minutes. I deep conditioned for 30 minutes and my hair was nice and soft. This deep conditioner is the bomb. Like I left my hair so, so super soft. <laughs> So here, as you can see, my hair is super clean, super soft, super hydrated. So I will be doing a perm rod set on my hair in my next video. So stay tuned for that. And that's it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, so you'll be notified when I upload the next video, which will be a follow up video to this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.